a reading of the New Testament as rendered by the uh, Gullah people through the uh, well, Gullah people of South Carolina through the Gullah Bible, which is again it's a is a new it's the uh, Gichi Gullah the Gullah language in the Bible. It's a uh, it's there in the middle of the bigger font, and the small font is the uh, translation uh, to the New Testament as rendered uh, by well King James and the gang. You know, it's in that Shakespeare, Christopher Marlowe language, and uh, so. Every day, uh, in fact, on, on on Saturdays we explain everything. So let's rush, rush through this, and tomorrow you can tune in. Tomorrow you can explain what I'm doing as far as uh, the reading. So let's just go to the Apostles' Dem thirteen, and we'll go to page. Uh, oh, let me just go to another page here. Uh, page uh, four fifty seven, and uh, let's go to twenty seven. Oh, I better use the glasses. I want to go to twenty seven. I'll be able to read this. Okay. Uh, page, uh, let's say, uh, 457, uh, uh, the Apostles 15, and this is 27. So then, when the said Judas and Silas to tell Anna the same thing we done right, Anna, and this letter. And the interpretation is, uh, we have sent, therefore, Judas and Silas, uh, who shall also tell you the same things by mouth. Okay, so let's read this one more time. We usually read it twice because we're well, we're trying to get a feel of the of the language as uh, as interpreted by the Gullah Gullah people. And so it goes. Uh, so then we. The sin, uh, Judas, uh, Judas and Silas for to honor the same thing we done right honor in this letter. And interpretation is, we have sent therefore Judas and Silas, who shall also tell you the same things by mouth. So, uh. So it's read by uh, by me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to the bed, letting you know what I only suspect uh, from the Gullah Bible. <laughs>